हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल वेदांतु एन सी आर टी सोल्यूशन इन दिस चैनल यू विल गेट अ डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी एन सी आर टी क्वेश्चन सो स्टे ट्यून्ड लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब शेयर टू यू फ्रेंड सो दैट इवन दे गेट टू नो हाउ टू सॉल्व ऑल दीज एन सी आर टी क्वेश्चन इजिली सो दैट यू कैन स्कोर मोर इन योर एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट एस ट्राई टू सॉल्व द टीन क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन ऑफ द चैप्टर रिलेशन फंक्शन ऑफ योर ग्रेट ट्वेल्व Let us try to read the question first. Show that the triangle, the relation R, defined in the set A of all polygons as P1 comma P2, where P1 and P2 have same number of sides, is an equivalence relation. What is the set of all elements in A related to the right triangle T with sides three, four, and five? Second question. What is the set of all elements in A related to the right angle triangle? T with sides three, four, and five. See, children. Let us try to solve the first part. Look at this. Show that the relation R defined in set A of all polygons. So let us relate it. In a set A, we have two polygons. So let us write P one comma P two belongs to A, and P one and P two have same number of sides. So in that case, children, let us try to check whether this relation is. reflexive what are we checking we are checking whether this relation is reflexive if this relation is reflexive what happens now if p1 comma p2 belongs to a then if i am writing p1 comma p1 does it belong to r children yes if p1 has four sides then p1 comma p1 is possible because we are talking about the num same number of sides so p1 must have same number of sides correct so in that case p1 comma p1 belongs to r means what we can write hence it is it is reflexive right it is reflexive yes because p1 comma p1 means p1 has same number of sides suppose p1 has four sides then p1 comma p1 when you write it four comma four it belongs to our correct children same number of sides Now let us check for symmetric. Very easy and simple questions, children. Please try to understand. These are easy, and you need to practice writing statements. is very important. Yes. Now symmetric. When you are checking for symmetric, let us take two cases. If P one comma P two are the two polygons having same number of sides, so I can write P one comma P two belongs to R. Now P two comma P one also belongs to R because both have same number of sides, children. Yes. so p1 comma p2 belongs to r p2 comma p1 also belongs to r hence it is it is symmetric right if p1 is a polygon which has four sides and p2 is a polygon which has same number of sides then p2 has same number of sides that of p1 and p1 has same number of sides as that of p2 so it is a symmetric relation right children yes now let us try for the third condition whether it is transitive and see children these are easy and simple type of questions where i will consider if you if you have very good concept knowledge these are the bonus type questions which you can score easily and quickly also so let us try for transitive let us take three polygons p1 p2 p3 now see children if p1 comma p2 are the two polygons having same number of sides And I can write P1 comma P2 is R, and P2 comma P3 are the polygons which are same number of sides. So P2 comma P3 is also R belongs to R. Now can we write P3 comma P1 or P1 comma P3? Sorry, P1 comma P3 that also belongs to R children. Yes or no? Yes, because if P1 has same number of sides that of P2 and P2 has same number of sides as that of P3, P3 and P1 should have the same number of sides. hence what we call hence it is transitive right children it is transitive yes now you got to know it is transitive so what we can write children the relation the relation where p1 and p2 are the polygons of the same number of sides it is reflexive yes you have understood it is reflexive symmetric and transitive right children and transitive 
So what we write? This relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Yes, children. This is clear. Now, let us go for the second condition. Now, they are telling what is the set of all elements in A related to the right angle triangle T with sides 3, 4 and 5. Now, there is a right angle triangle with sides 3, 4 and 5. Okay. It's a right angle triangle. Now, your set A contains all the polygons with same number of sides. That's what they mean. Correct. Now, if you observe this very carefully, children, if you are not bothered whether it is right angle or not, correct. Here, the triangle, what is given is a right angle triangle. But here, according to the relation, we are talking only about the number of sides. So, set A containing, containing elements related to containing elements related to T, this is T, right? This is T. Are all, you will not write right triangles, you write are all triangles because here we are only talking about the number of sides. So all the triangles are related to this. Yes, children, because triangles have the same number of sides. Yes, 3, 4 and 5 is a right angle triangle. That right angle triangle part is given just to confuse you. What is main agenda here? What is the relation? Number of sides. So, if it is a triangle, then all the other elements related to T in set A are all triangles. Is this clear, children? Understanding everyone? I hope this was clear where we check whether the given relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. And also, the all the elements of set A related to T, we know that it's a triangle. So, I hope this is clear and easy. Like, share and subscribe. Share it with your friends. And also, Solve all the problems to score more in your examination children. Thank you.